So all of you can attempt this drag and drop activity. I have sent the same in the WhatsApp group as well. So earlier you were not able to attempt this drag and drop activity. But now I have shared the file once again in the WhatsApp also and in the Zoom meeting as well. Try to attempt this. And uh, since Amrita ma'am has already attempted, so it is clear that it is working. So try to attempt and uh, send your response in the chat box just like Amrita ma'am has sent. Sure, I'll resend it. So, what you need to do is you need to attach this file rather than sending it as a link. We need to attach the file. Here, I have attached the file. Mm -hmm. Here I have attached the file and that's how you are able to open it. So whether this file is uh, created in my system, but still you can open this because rather than sending it as a link, you have attached this file either through email or uh, through WhatsApp. So you can send, you had this query in the previous session. So, and I said that I will definitely resolve this. So here it is resolved that you can send it on the WhatsApp as a file, not as an attachment, not as a link. Okay. So you can see in the WhatsApp group also, I have sent the same gamified assessment, same interactive resource. Have you seen that? Please give response. Okay. So all of you can attempt that and uh, you can get to know how it looks like when a learner gives response to the interactive resource. So I'm writing the same in the group also. So is this clear to all of you that how we can attempt this? Uh, sorry, how we can provide it to the learners? We need to upload this. Somebody had asked me to resend it. And I'm resending. Okay, so now it must be visible to everyone. Again, I had sent in the break, tea break. During the tea break, I had sent. So now all of you can please quickly perform this so that we can proceed with the session. So, I'm giving only five minutes within five minutes. Oh. Uh, uh, Ma'am, uh, you are asking about morning attendance, and uh, before the session could end, I had already announced that once the uh, morning session will be over, the link will not be provided again. And we had sent the morning attendance link till the end of the sessions also. So now we cannot reshare morning attendance link. Okay. So I just want to know whether you are able to open this H5P resource. Okay. 
Okay. I can see that some of you can attempt that. So I hope the query is clear. I hope the query is clear that uh, how you can share this. You can share this H5P resource resource as a file. Okay, like I have also attached here as a file. So, ma'am, can you please uh, check while share screen? Because I didn't caught you. Okay. Uh, Kirsam ji, your query, can you please elaborate on your query? Yes, true. On the mobile. Okay. okay, but you can see in the chat box, Angila ji. You can see in the chat box that others could open it and they could attempt also. So that means it is working in the phone. And I have also tried in my phone and it worked. So it must open because you do not require any apps. You require just browser and browser opens in everyone's phone. So we do require to open it in the browser. Yeah. Open it in the browser, you will be able to open it. So now the time is running and we need to start hands-on experience, a hands-on uh, session. And for hands-on session, I would like to invite my colleague. Ms. Shashi Priya, she is working as content developer in Diksha since 2021. She has developed various contents of FLN, like worksheets, infographics, H5C, interactive videos. And uh, now she is going to tell you that how you can also create the same for your learning. So I welcome Ms. Shashi Priya. <laughs> Thank you, Nidhi, ma'am. Over to you. Chi bikar bolu kora shuru kuru. Bolu kulti shuru kuri tap majakia. Let me share my screen. Everyone is on this page. Then we have to click on H5T editor. We have to start. Click on start. Mm -hmm. Then we have to create new H5T content. We have to click on create new. So we can find here many interactive resources like interactive video, course, presentation, multiple choice questions. We are going to start with basic interactive resource that is mark the words. So we have to search mark the words. You have to click on details, mark the words. I can see use here. You have to click on that use. So we can see here now. All these settings we can see zoom edit. We have a tutorial video here. If you have any doubt, you can click on tutorial video and then if you have any doubts, you can click on this. Here we have to click the title first. So what is the title? Let us uh, start with the basic example. So we have to type the title here. Uh, I'm taking basic example of noun and pronoun. We have to click find the find the noun in the 
paragraph. It's a very basic example I'll take. So this is the title now task description. So here it is written describe how the user should solve the task. So I'm going to write I then buy. Identify the event in the given in the paragraph and the uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, one of the participants has said that if you can be louder, then it will be. Great. Okay, ma'am. So, am I audible now? Clearly? Okay, ma'am. So, we are writing the task description here. Identify the nouns given in the paragraph and click on them then check your answer we have to check the answers also so that this is the task description we are going to do identify the nouns given in the paragraph you have to click on that word which you found is a noun then you have to check your answer. Now coming to text field. So what do you have to do here? So here we can see show instructions. You have to click on show instructions. We can see as many instructions are given. What we have to type here. We have to type a paragraph here. And how you have to type that? It is written here. The correct word that is a noun should be with asterisk and it should end with an asterisk mark. Suppose now I have to check for the paragraph which contains noun. Let me check. Uh, yes, ma'am. Sorry to interrupt. But uh, some of the participants have said that there was background noise because of which we could not uh, understand from the beginning. Since you have just started, is it possible for you to start from the beginning? Uh, yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. So let us start from the beginning. This is the first page, right? Everyone is on this page? You can give a response in the chat box. Then we have to click on start. That is H5P editor to create new H5P content. Start. We have to click on create new H5P content. So I'm going slow so that you can go along with me. Create new H5P content. Done. So this is the new H5P content that we are going to create. Then we have we are starting with the basic that is mark the words. Search mark the words. So this is we have to click on G tables. I hope everyone has reached here. Then you have to click on use as we want to use this interactive resource to create content. You have to click all the details and all title, task, description. So we took the example of nouns. Find the nouns in the paragraph right then coming to task description what do we have to write here describe how the user should solve the task we have to identify 
identify the nouns. Given in the paragraph and click on the words which you found are nouns. Then check your answers as we have to check the answers. <laughs> So, the, so we have written the task description. Now coming to text field. What do you have to write in the text field? You have to click on show instructions. Here we need to type the paragraph in which there is noun. And the correct noun, that is the word, has to be between the aesthetic mark. For example, it is given here. It has to be Aesthetic mark and the noun, then it has to end with the aesthetic. So that I'm taking one paragraph which I have already saved. I'm testing the paragraphs now. Word which is a noun has to start and end with a static mark. <laughs> then I'm marking all the nouns with the aesthetic mark. Bank. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Please, oh, please zoom in your screen. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, my screen is doing it is maximum size of the screen. <laughs> so I'm marking all the nouns with the aesthetic mark. <laughs> So it's taking time to take that, taking a long paragraph. You can take short paragraph also. Then we can fill it and unfold it. Coming to this whole screen, we all can 
we can add various ranges and distribute evenly. Suppose I'm adding a range and you can distribute it evenly. 0 to 25, then 26 to 50, 51 to 75, then 76 to 100. Suppose you are giving 76 to 100 as excellent. 51 to 75 as very good. 26 to 50 not good. And 0 to 5 as need practice. So you have distributed these evenly. Now coming to behavioral setting. This varies from content type to content type. Suppose if you are using interactive video, the behavior setting will be different. If you are using a post presentation, then the behavior setting will be different. Depending on the type of activity and content we are taking, it will be different for different activities. And uh, presently we are doing not the words, so the behavior setting are enabled. We try have. Um, Mark all the options. So this is then you have to click on B. So this is how it looks like. Now you have to click on the nouns which you think is a noun. Suppose this is a noun, this pleasant, needle, clear water, penis, water lilies, and pan, bottom, root. Yeah. Now we have to check for the answers. We have to click on check. So we got many of the words wrong and uh, some of them are correct as well. You can click on retry if you want to retry or you can click on show solution. It is going to show you all the solutions which all words are now. And if you click on retry, it is going to Come to the previous page and you can start again and retry. So this is the basic uh, interactive resource which we are starting with. That is mark the words. Uh, it is not only for English content. You can take even science, maths. You can create the content. It is not only limited to language subject. And if you want to change any setting or if you want to change any range, you can come back to the edit option and you can change the setting. Yeah. If you want to delete this range, you can delete, confirm. And you can change the behavioral setting as well. And if you find that uh, you miss out any word, which is a noun, you can click on that as well. Then you can click on view. Then you can again click on check after checking for the solution. You can click on retry. Uh, is this clear with everyone? I hope everyone got till here. You can give your response in the chat box. One of the participants has uh, requested to tell that what has to be done after behavioral settings. Okay. So after you click on the behavioral setting, you have to click on all the options. Show score points, enable show solution button, enable retry. You have to click on view. Here you can see view. You have to click on that. Then you can again check and retry, check for the solutions. And if you don't want the retry button to be there, you can off it. And if you want it to be there, you can enable the retry button. I, I hope you got it, sir. So now 
we can go for the other interactive resource that is a uh, course presentation we can go for. So again, you have to click on new H5P file. Post presentation, you have to click on details. I can see a use because it is already installed in my system. And if it shows you install, you can click on install. I'm clicking on use. So this is the page, which this is the page we are going to come. And there is a tutorial video, there is one example. So let us start. Um, so here you have to type the, type the title first. I'm choosing different shapes of the objects. Let us go for drag and drop, which is very interesting and engaging. It allows the users to get involved with the information and your input will be important in this so that the output comes. We are going to click on drag and drop. So we are going to come here now. I hope everyone has come here. If anybody has a doubt, you can write a question in the chat box. So what is the title we are going to give? We are going to give that and drop the given objects in the boxes according to their shapes. Um, so we can Add any background image also here. I have already saved a background image here. I'm choosing that image. So this is the background image I have selected. You can change the size. You can change the size of the background image you want it to be. I'm choosing. into 210. So after this, so after this, here you can see your option next step. So you have to click on next step here. I hope everyone has reached here. So done. So we have reached here after adding the background and then clicking on next step. You can see a drop zone here, add text, add image, done. We want to add drop zone. So I'm going slow so that you can also do the hands-on with me. So I'm adding a drop zone here. And what is the title or the label you want the drop zone to be? So we have selected different shapes. I'm choosing round objects. You can make it bold. You want it to be in the middle, you can do that. And you have to click on show label. Then only the round object of the drop zone will be seen. The images in the drop zone auto align. Done. We have got a drop zone here of round objects. So, round objects drop zone is here. You can add many drop zones according to your wish. Mm -hmm. Square objects. Again, you can make it both and you want 
it to be in the middle. You can make it in the middle. You have to click on show label. And again, you have to click on enable auto align because if you choose the objects in the square object zone, it will be auto aligned automatically. Then you can click on. Align. So we have got two drop zones here now. One is the round objects, one is the square objects. Hello. Da? Accordingly, you can adjust the size of the drop zones. Now, we have to add images which we want to it to be drag and drop in the following zones. You have to click on image. I hope everyone got it. Now to click on image. Now have to click on add. Already saved some images in my desktop. So you can type a alternative text here. Suppose somebody is having internet issue, then if if you write the text here, then that text will be visible to that person if there is some uh, issue in downloading the image. So this is a soft ball or soft toy. Then again, option, I'm typing soft. And you want the soft ball. Excuse me. Yes, ma'am. Uh, some of the participants are requesting uh, that if you can explain a bit slow. Oh, yes, ma'am. Sure. So, you want the, this round object we have added one image and we want it to be in round object. Duh. Because this is not a square, so we have to select from what we have to click on done. You can adjust the size of the ball accordingly. So I hope everyone has reached here. We have added zones. You can add zones from here. You can add or delete zones from here. Remove. I can remove from here if you want. You can add many number of images. I have added one. Let us go and add other images. Add. So, I have added one more image and I want the alternative text that is if somebody is having any internet issue, I want it the text to appear. So I'll write this. And the option text will also be pencil. So this the shape of the pencil either round nor square. So I'll not select any of the options here. I'll click that. I hope I'm going slow. Yeah. So we had added one image. I don't know where it went. So this So this is neither round object nor square object. You can adjust the size of the image. So I hope everyone understood. Now I'm adding the third image. Now 
So we have added three images here, and you can add many number of images here. I'm clicking, I'm adding more images. So next I will click on round object. I'll select this zoom I want it to be in. I'll click on that. Of the image. Anyone pending? Then you can do something. So we have added four images here and uh, which can be drag and drop in the given position. Yeah. And similarly, you can add score range also here. And you can distribute them evenly. Very good. This is the the site on Diksha and then you have a Yeah, videos are available. So again, see, now we can see the behavioral setting is different for this post presentation as we have discussed. We have already discussed that it is different for different content we take. Here, I'm choosing the option enable retry, apply penalties, then enable score explanation like that. Show score points. You can show the title. You can select that option. From the after this, you have to click on this text that is done. So I'm done with it. I'll click on this. I hope everyone has understood till here. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Some of the participants have written that they can't uh, catch up. Because when they are uh, working on the first step, then uh, the second step starts or third step starts. So can you give a brief summary of what you have done in this resource? Yeah, okay. okay. Thank you. Thank so the first thing is we have to select the Let me start with the, we can click on add new slide. This is the best thing of post presentation that we can add many slides as we want. So let us start with here. You have to click on drag and drop. We are starting with the big name, that is crash. You have to click on drag and drop. That Now we have to choose the background image. You have to Choose any background image. Click on add. Then I have already saved one image as background, so I'm choosing that. You have to click that. So this is the background image I have selected. And accordingly, you can choose the size of the background image. I would take to be 520 
into 210. So Doug, I hope this step is clear with everyone. So that this thing. Now we have to click on next step. That is this option. That is this option. Yeah. So we can see that our background image has already come. Now we can see options add drop zone text image. We want drop zone. So click on drop zone. Add drop zone and uh, what is the title or the label of the drop zone you want it to be? And choosing round object, you can hold it, you can make it in the center, and you have to click on show label so that it will be visible to everyone. That is the round object. We have to click on that. You can also click on enable auto align so that the images will be automatic, automatically aligned in the drop right. Then click on done. So this is the first drop zone we have added. I hope everyone has reached here. We have added one drop zone here and uh, you can add more drop zone here by clicking on add drop zones. Accordingly, if you are selecting different shapes, you can select round objects, square objects, rectangle like that. We have to also type it like now we want some images which we want it to be drag and drop in the round objects we have to click on Image. So, I hope everyone has reached here. You have to click on image. So we can see this. Image. Then we have to add image. That is, so I have already saved some images of round objects. So, suppose I'm choosing a thing. Image here. This is a ring. And this is a round object. This is a ring. If, if there is some internet issue, then this ring text will appear for them. Then I want it to be drag and drop in the round object zone. So I'll click on that. We have to select this option that is the round object. Uh, have everyone understood till here? You can give your response in the chat box. Should I proceed further? Then we have to click on done. After adding the image, alternative text, however text, we have to click on done. I hope everyone is still here. Done. Done. So we can see the image here. We have already added. We, accordingly, you can change the shape, size.
So if anybody has a theory, you can write in the chat room, then we can proceed further. As many of them, many of you are saying that you are not able to catch up, you are not able to understand. So please, you can ask any question if you want, to, then we can proceed further. You can give your response in the chat box. Should we proceed further? Let the drop zone here. Should we should we proceed further? Shall we proceed on adding images which we want to be drag and drop in the drop zone? You can give your response in the chat box as I'm looking all the responses. That is a thumbs up that yes, you can proceed further. Can you get more response? Uh, okay, so I got two response. Yes, ma'am, you can proceed further. Yes, okay, very good. I'm liking all the responses that you're giving me. This makes the session more interactive. So let us proceed. As I got three response that yes, we can proceed further. So we have added the drop zone here by clicking on add drop zone, right? We can add many drop zones. Like in the previous section, we had added one more drop zone that is square objects. We had, you can click on add drop zone and create one more drop zone here. Then we want some images to be drop zone in this round object. We are clicking on add image. I have already saved some images in the desktop, so I'm clicking, choosing one of them. We need to type the alternative text. If any person has, if somebody has internet issue, then this, this text, what you are writing here, will appear there. So this is just a circle. The however text should also be saved. And this is a circle. So Click on round object. I hope everyone has understood. Then we can proceed further and I can click on done button. So done. We got two images. We have added two images. Accordingly, you can adjust the size of the image. Done. So you can add many number of images here. If we have only two. Let us choose many other images as well and so this is a TV I have selected. So then we need to type the alternative text as TV. Then this is not a round object. So I'll we are not going to select the round of object but option. So let it be, we have to click on done. Then again, we have to, we can select the object size. We can add many images, you can add on accordingly. You can see that this pencil is not a round object, so we are not going to select this option. 
of round object and we don't want it to be drag and drop in the round object so done One more. I'm adding one more image. Let me choose some other image. Let me choose. Okay. So this is I think I have selected, which is no problem. So this is also not a round object, so I'm not going to select this option that is offered. Right. Okay. Again, we have to click on done button. Okay, we can adjust the size of the images. We can keep it. You can add or read as we had seen in the previous interactive viewers of Mark the words. We can evenly distribute it zero to fifty. Fifty one to fifty one to hundred. For 51 to 100, you can give it excellent. And 0 to 50, you can need, you can give practice. I hope everyone has understood till here. And so if you have any question, you can write in the chat box so that we can proceed further. So can we proceed further? Uh, yes. Okay, so I got one response. So let us proceed further. Then you have to click on done. We can see a done option here. Click on done. So done. So this is the slide we had created. You can adjust to the maximum side. Yeah. I hope everyone has reached here. So this slide we can delete as nobody got it. So we have only this one. Okay, so after adding image, what is the next step? So you have to click on done. After adding image, after writing the alternative text, however text, and you have to select the drop zone you want it to be in. You have to select that. Then you can see a done option here. You have to click on that. Done. I need to add in it so that you can see. So this is your feather. This is not a round object, so I'm not choosing any option here. So then we have to click on done. So we have added. You have to click on done. Now let us proceed further. Again, you have to click on done after you have added all the images. You have to click on that. So this is the slide looks like after adding all the images, after adding the drop zone. 
we can see a view option here. Now we have to click on view option here. So shall we proceed further? Uh, shall we view our presentation? If anybody has a question, you can write in the chat box as I'm reading all your messages in the chat box. If anybody has a question, you can ask. Shall we proceed further? You can give your response in the chat box. Yes. So I got two responses. Yes, yes. Okay. So this session is quite interesting and interactive because your response matters a lot to us. So we are going to click on view. somebody has asked ma'am while adding images there is no option got drop zone so there is one option you don't you will not get the drop zone option after adding the images you will get it simultaneously only drop zone images so let us view this first then we are going to come to the question so the first slide is empty as we had deleted that one we are coming to the second one. This is post presentation. You can add many number of slides. Sir, I'll come to a question. AP, sir. AP Sharma, sir. I'll come to a question after we are going to view this. So, this one is drag and drop the given object you find are round in shape. So, the ring is round in shape. We are going to drag and drop in the drop zone we had created. This is also round. Let us, this is not a round object. So we won't be able to choose and drop, drag and drop in the round object here. Now we are going to check our answers. So this one is wrong. So that means there might, we must have made some mistakes in our setting option. So let us go back to the edit option. So, uh, Sagar Sharma, sir, I hope you got after zone option comes here. And then add image option comes here. So you have to add the drop zone from here. And then you have to add the image from here. If you add the image from here, suppose we have selected mirror. So this is a round object. You have to click on done button. Here, you cannot see any drop zone here because drop zone option was before choosing the image. So, we have to click on done button. So, done. We got this mirror. We are deleting it as we have chosen it to explain the question. Answer. Uh, Sagar Sharma, sir, I hope your answer, you got your answer to the question that the zone, drop zone option will yes. be before. We can delete this slide, the first one, as it is empty. So let us keep only one slide. Double click on it, then we can round object. And we have double clicked on the drop zone of round object. We want the ring and circle to come in. So we have to select this option. Then we can see a done option here. We have to click on done. Then again on the top. Right side, we can see a done option here. We have to click on that. You can click on view. Yes. Click view. 
Now let us check our answers. We are dragging and dropping the round objects in the zone. This is not a round object. This pencil is also not round object, so it won't come. So now let us check our answers. Yes, we got it correct this time. Again, if you want to change the setting, you can go on edit option here. And if you want read price button to be there, accordingly, you can select the option. Retry button will be appearing. Social uh, solution will also be seen accordingly. Okay, sir. Sagar, sir. I'm glad that your question, you got your answer to the question. That is clear. So, the best part of course presentation is we can add many number of slides from here. You can see add new slide option here. So, we are going to click on this. Add new slide here. And if you want to clone a slide, you want to create an co exact copy of this slide, you can click on this. And if you want the background of any slide accordingly you can choose that background you want any slide shift to the left you can click on this option if you want any slide shift to the right you can click on this and uh, the last one is you can delete any slide from this so let us add a new slide so this is a new slide let me take one question. Pulshan, sir, if other images can't be dragged inside the box, how can we get how can get wrong answers because of the correct answers are below? Uh, yes, sir, Pulshan, sir, you have to change the behavioral setting. As I have said that it depends from content type to content type. Here, this is the behavioral setting. You can Change from here, show retry button, show solution button. I have enabled everything here. Activate active surf surface mode like that. You can change the behavioral setting. And then the wrong images will also be drag and drop in the zone. Then you can see the answer. It will show you one wrong answer. Let me send you one uh, drag and drop which I have created and you try and tell me. So, I have shared one key content in the chat box. Everybody can try and this is also going to show you the uh, wrong images can be dragged to the drop zoom accordingly and you can see for the behavior setting you have to check. check. Yes, sir. We are, um, Ganesh, sir, we are going to tell you at the end that how you can share this with your students. I have shared this H5P content with you in the chat box. Similarly, you can share this H5P content also with your students and they can try, they can learn, they can explore, they can engage with your information. Yes, sir. I'm going to tell you. Now, are you, can we can we proceed further? We have learned how to add drag and drop interactive resource. So let us see many other resources we have. Drag and drop. We had seen drag and drop. Now let us explore other options as well. We have single choice set also. We have multiple choice set also. So 
let us explore multiple choice questions. Can we proceed further? Is this clear with everybody? If you have any question, you can write in the chat box. Okay, sir. So I got response that we can proceed further. Thank you, sir. Question, sir. Thank you for your response. So we are going to take multiple choice questions. So this is a multiple choice question. So the title is already there. Untitled multiple choice question. You can remove untitled and we can keep only multiple choice question. So the question has to come here. We have to type the question. Suppose I'm choosing, I'm writing any question here. How can we help stray animals? How can we help stray animals? And we have to give the options here. The first option you need to get provide to and shelter. Then if you if you think this answer, if you want to mark this option as correct, you have to click on this. This is the correct option. Then you have to give the other option here. Offer shelter. So this is also correct option. Then we have to click on the option correct. We need to add many other options. You can click on add option and you can proceed further. Then tease them. So this is not the correct option to the question. So we are not selecting the correct option here. I need to add one more option. So I have to click on add option here. Add option. Then Ignore them. So do you think this is the correct answer to the question? Correct option to the question? No, I guess. So we are not choosing the option of correct. So this is not correct. So we have only two correct options. Provide food and shelter. Offer shelter. Sorry, here it should be provide food and water. Then we have two, so we have selected the correct options. That is everybody clear with this? So we have added one question. Now we can see a done option here. We have to click on that. I hope I'm going slow and everybody is getting it. Done. To click on done. So here is the question. You can fit according to your according to the slide that is the course presentation done. So we have adjusted the size of the question to the maximum. Now, I hope this is cleared with everyone. Now we have to click on view option, view. We want to view the question, right? And we want to check for the answer. We have to click on view. So this is the first drag and drop we had created. Now this is the second slide. You have to click on this. Second one, how can we help stray animals? Provide food and shelter, tease them, offer shelter. Suppose I'm choosing one wrong answer as we know, but the students don't know if this is correct or not. So let us go for the check. Oops, one of the option is wrong, that is tease them. So this is wrong and two options, you got it correct. You can click on retry if you want to retry, reattend. You can click on the show, show solution button. So these two are option correct. You can click on retry if you want to retry. Offer shelter. This is correct. Done. Again, we can go to the edit option. Done. You want to add one more slide. You can, as I have said, the best part of this no. post presentation is post presentation is we can add many slides. So I'm adding one more slide. Add one more slide. So this is single choice set. We had 
selected multiple choice multiple choice questions now we are going for single choice set that it is going to have only one answer to the questions i hope i'm clear to everyone and everybody is getting So we have selected single choice question set, which is going to have only one answer to the question. Suppose I'm writing any question, what do you do? What do you call now? Baby dog. So what do you call a baby dog? So this is the question. Now alternative, that is the option we, we have to give here. So it is written here, the first alternative is the correct one. So we the first option we are typing has to be the correct answer to the question. Here it is already mentioned that the first alternative is the correct one. So here has it has to be the correct answer. So the answer to the question is puppy. So this is the correct answer. And uh, the second option can, has to be wrong answer. That is calf. Then we want to add other options. Dog, we want to add one more option. You can click on add answer and proceed further. Okay. Done. So, what do you call a baby dog? So, the first option is puppy. Second option is calf. The third option is dog. The fourth one is cat. So, uh, we can see a done option here. Done. We have to click on done. So, this is the question. And then we have to maximize it. Just the size to the slide. This is a question. We have to click on view. We have to click on view as we are done with the question. So we have to click on view. So the first one we had already seen, the second one also we had already seen, the third one now we are seeing, what do we call a baby dog? So the first option is, you know, the if I'm going to click on puppy, this, again, this is the wrong answer. So the right answer is puppy. If you want to click on return, it is going to return. The right answer, we got one out of one. Again, if you want to change any setting, you can go back to the edit and you can change any setting here. You can add background image from here, slide background. You can add audio here. You can go back to any slide. You can insert video also in this slide. You can add image. So the best interactive resource is drag and drop. We can go back, click one more slide we have added. That is four slides we have added, then drag and drop. So this is the best interactive resource, drag and drop, because students find it very interesting, engaging, and interactive. Again, we are coming back to drag and drop. We have to click on the background image we have to select. So those who have missed in the beginning due to the background noise in the lab, so you can again listen carefully. 
So this is the size of the background we want it to be. We have to click on the next step. So this is the background we had selected, right? So this is the drop zone here and this is the add image here. So we have to select the drop zone first, add drop zone. And what is the label? That is the title of the drop zone we want it to be. Suppose we want it to be stars. You, you can make it bold. You can make it in the middle. And we have to click on the show label because we want it to be seen. Show label. Duh. Then we have to click on done. So this is the drop zone we had selected. So this is the drop zone we had selected. So this oh. only. And then we can adjust the size at the drop zone. You can make it large. Then we have to add image. Now we have to add image after adding the drop zone. And Again, I have some images saved in my desktop. So, so this alternative text I have said that you have to write what is the image because if somebody is having internet issue and the image cannot load, then this text will appear for them. For so you to mirror. See, however, text has to be this, and we want it to be in the order of stars. Stars. So we we'll proceed further and click. We'll click on done option. So this is done. So we got selected. So we have added each. Image. Accordingly, you can add range and distribute it evenly. And you can give your remarks excellent, very good, like that. Then you can write your re attempt or need practice. You can change the behavior setting as well, give one point for the whole task. Drop zone highlighting while when dragging, you can select never. If you don't want the drop zone to be highlighted with the object is being dragged. So this is the behavior setting. So that's it. Now we have to click on done option. Done. So we are done. We can adjust it to the maximum. <laughs> If you can double click if you want any settings to be changed. You can double click on it and then accordingly you can change the setting. You can click on that. And if you want the some settings to be changed of the mirror, you can double click and, and change accordingly, then click on that. So we are done with this. So we have to click on done. So this is done. You can click on view. So this is the fourth one. Dragon. Okay. This is correct. So we'll go back to edit option. Yes. So now you have to save this file. You can save. It will be saved as H5E package, right? And uh, if somebody is having a system. Uh, in those systems that H5P content will not be supported and you want to share it with your students, you have to click on File, then Export, done. Show Embedded Link, you have to click here, Include Reporter, done. Now you have to click on Export now. So, now this will be saved as HTML file. You, I want it to be saved in the desktop. So different shapes of the objects. Export. So 
So this HPT content has been exported. Now you can share it with your students and anybody if you want to. Uh, suppose let us go back to the desktop where we had saved this. This is the file we had saved. And if we are going to click on this, how is it going to be seen? So now look. So it is going to be seen like this. Here it is uni written here and then we can see it like this, the round of it. They can also interact with it. Check. You can check. Then it we had kept multiple choice question here. How can we help stray animals provide food, shelter? Suppose I'm choosing every option as correct. Check now. So two are wrong, two are right. You can go for retrial or you can see the solution. The third, that is a single choice set question. How do you call, what do you call a baby dog? The puppy. This is the correct answer. The fourth one. We had just so you can share it like this with your student as well, and it will be saved as HTML file, and you can share it with your students. So till here, anybody has a doubt? So I'm done. This is all with the hands-on session of interactive resource that is H5P content. I hope you are going to make many H5P content and share it with your students. Anybody has a doubt, you can ask your questions in the chat box. There is one query. How can we share these two students? But this query we answered already in the beginning of this session. Yes, and in the end also, I had so we have to click on I, then export. You have to select these options, show embed link, include operator. You have to click, click on export now. Then you can save where you want the file to be. Suppose I'm choosing the desktop, then export. I want it to be replaced with this. So let us go back and see this one, different shapes of the object we had. So this is how you can share it with the students and students can this interactive resource get engaged with the information. So this is the slide we had created, that is the post presentation we had created. So I hope I'm clear with everyone and everybody got it and you're going to make many interactive resources. If anybody has a doubt, anyone wants to ask something so we can take up the questions. Take your questions in the chat box and ask your questions. So I got one response, not at all, ma'am. Okay, thank yeah. you, sir, for your response. <laughs> so great interacting with you. Thank you, Nidhi, ma'am. Thank you, Ms. Shashi. And uh, it's great that our participants have understood how these interactive resources can be created. So thank you so much for answering their queries and also uh, teaching them patiently, making them understand how to recreate these resources. And uh, we hope that all, all these participants will definitely create resources and will submit to us in the assignments. So thank you so much, Ms. Shashi. Thank you, ma'am. And now, uh, before ending this today's session, today's program, I would like to...